Skyscraper stars Dwayne Johnson and Neve Campbell. The movie is about a man who has to go to extreme lengths to save his family in a burning building. Dwayne Johnson plays a man whose job is to run the safety, the final safety checks on this new Iron Eyes building in Hong Kong. Um, once he okays the building, the top half residential area can be opened for residential apartments. The building gets taken over by armed mercenaries who set fire to the place, causing a towering inferno. And Dwayne Johnson's family are trapped on the upper floors above the flames. And it's basically his job to try and get into the building and save and protect his family from the mercenaries and save them from you know the fire and everything. Um, all the all while is being framed for a part in you know this disaster. Um, this movie, it's fun in parts. You know, I had a lot of fun watching the movie, but also a lot of the movie I'd seen in other things, you know, and it's very predictable. Um, Noah Taylor is in it, and as soon as he came onto the screen, um, and I saw his face, it was like, he's dodgy. There's something suspiciously dodgy about that character. Um, Dwayne Johnson is really good in the movie you know there's not really a movie i've seen with the rock that i've not liked well i've not liked him in it because the guy just oozes charisma he's got a brilliant personality but this isn't the best movie that he's been in although saying that i did enjoy the film in a in a turn your brain off kind of way you know it's it's, it's a fun um 100 minute popcorn movie you don't really have to think about a lot because if you do think about things in this movie, you'd be like questioning the movie all the way through because it's it's kind of like one of those movies that's set in the Fast and Furious world where f the laws of physics don't exist, and then, you know that the the main character is doing feats that a normal guy would instantly die doing and things like that. Um, you know, jumping from cranes into the building and things. You know, it's just the man's meant to be a normal guy, although he's an ex FBI. SWAT team member, you know, so he is like combat trained and everything and You know, he's a disabled character, you know, he has got You know one leg and he does walk on an artificial leg, so There is that injunce for the character, but All in all, it's not the greatest film I've seen Neve Campbell or Nev Campbell, whatever she's called. Um, she's pretty badass in this movie. She plays his wife um, and she, you know, has a couple of action scenes in it and, you know, she's pretty good. And a lot of the time she's protecting her two children. Um, there is a, a certain scene where you're meant to fear for, you know, the characters, you know, the, the danger that they're in. But I just didn't really care if, you know, anything bad happens to the characters or not. The only character that I actually cared about was... Dwayne Johnson's character although you know it's, it's it's kind of a genetic role really you know he's basically just playing father in this you know it's not the greatest role he's played um the the main villain I can't remember what he's called the actor's name but I think he's got like a Scandinavian like a Swedish accent I think the, the actor is Swedish but he's pretty good anyway I did enjoy him there's a bit of a you know CGI fest action scene at the end you know um the film could have done without with it, with it because it doesn't look real in fact a lot of this film doesn't look real that's one of the main problems with the movie um but yeah i had a good time uh oh yeah and um the guy who played lao in the dark knight he plays the billionaire owner of this um new hong kong sky rise called the pearl um so he must be the god guy if you want to an Asian actor, you know, for, who's what's set in Hong Kong. That must be that guy, you know, go to that actor. Um, but, yeah, he's pretty decent in that, in this movie, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, all in all, there's, there's some action, there's some good set pieces. There is a couple of scary scenes, but where you're meant to, you know, fear for Dwayne Johnson's life. Um, you know, is he going to make it? Is he not going to make it? But while you're watching it, there's no tension in the movie because it doesn't look real and things like that. You know, he's just like, of course he's going to make it, he's the main character, you know, but there's no fear there. So, yeah, you know, I had fun with the movie. 
But it's an instantly forgettable one, and that's the problem with um, a lot of Dwayne Johnson movies recently. Um, it was recently in Rampage, and I, you know that I saw that early on in the year, and it's like I forgot about it now. Um, and same with Jumanji, which came out around Christmas time. They're like forgettable films. They're entertaining. They're good in the moment when you're watching it, but then they're forgettable. So yeah, this is what this movie is. That's the problem with Dwayne Johnson as well. He just seems to be making products. He doesn't seem to be making actual movies at the moment. He just seems to be doing the safe options. This movie would have been a lot better if it was, you know, rated R or, you know, not a PG-13 type film. And, you know, a lot of the movie, a lot a lot in the movie you've seen before, you know, you've seen it in, like, films like The Tower in Inferno and, and there's a lot of, um, you know... So you watch a lot of this film and you instantly think of Die Hard, which is a which is a problem because nothing's gonna top Die Hard, you know, in this sort of genre type movie. Um, you know, you know, foreign European mercenaries taking over an high rise building, it just screams Die Hard, and that must have been like the first notes that they wrote for the script, but it's okay. The movie's decent. I enjoyed it, but instantly forgot about it. That's why this week's like a. That's why this um, review's like a week late, basically, because I forgot to do it. I forgot about the movie. Um, so I'm gonna give it a rating of C plus. Yeah, I had fun with the movie. Dwayne Johnson's great. Neve Campbell's a badass. Um, the main bad guy, I didn't mind him. I thought he was okay. And the guy who played Lau in The Dark Knight. I liked him as well. Um, but all in all, it's an instantly forgettable movie. It's a popcorn movie. It's a movie you can turn your brain off for 100 minutes and just, you know, not think, basically. Um, so let me know if you've seen Skyscraper. What did you think of the movie? Write in my comment section, guys. Like and share my channel. And remember, stay heroic.